Ring Spear from Grave Reviews. Today we will be discussing the film The Ring. Released October 18th, 2002, the film was directed by Gore Verbinski and starred Naomi Watts. The Ring is a story about a cursed videotape that will kill anyone who watches it in seven days. When Rachel Keller, played by Naomi Watts, learns her niece has died after watching this tape, she herself watches it to try and stop this curse from spreading. Upon viewing the tape, Rachel receives a phone call that tells her she will die in seven days. The film centers on this demonic tape and the horror it has in store for its victims. This movie does not rely on gore to deliver its scares. There are definitely some disturbing scenes that are almost as effective, if not even more. The lack of violent imagery is made up for other imagery, such as out-of-focus maggots, severed fingers, decaying skeletons, and hair that would disturb any beautician. This more than makes up for the lack of violence. From the very start, even in the first five minutes when nothing has happened yet, things just feel off. The film does a great job at setting a gloomy atmosphere, uh, which sets the tone and the theme of the film immediately, and it offers a consistent slow build throughout that creates tension in the movie. However, at times the characters seem flat, though the mysteries and scares in the film make this aspect mostly unimportant. When the viewer is with Rachel trying to solve the mystery, the film is completely absorbing and she seems perfectly fine, but when characters start interacting, it's difficult to ignore this flatness between them and of them. I also fear that this movie, although pretty much inescapable in the early 2000s, has aged poorly through no fault of its own. As VHS tapes become less and less commonplace, the movie loses a large part of its potential to scare younger audiences simply because they're not familiar with and they can't relate to that technology. All in all, The Ring may not exactly live up to the reputation it has carried since its original release in 2002, but it is still a horror movie worth watching at least once, maybe even twice, so you can pick up on even more details. This is one of those movies that has a lot going on in the background. It is certainly one of the best examples of the J-horror trend that arose in the U.S. in the early to mid-2000s. And for these foregoing reasons, Grave Review gives The Ring three and a half out of five graves. And for our complete review of The Ring, please visit GraveReviews.com to check out more. And as always, have a creepy day.